episode 768. The bigger the star, the harder the fall. The video quickly received a large number of views, and more observant fans noticed that clicking on a link at the end would take them straight to the official website of the search. The question mark below the male lead's name had been replaced with a photo. Even the few people who had refused to believe that the video was real could no longer deny that Eric Roberts would be playing Prince William. The public went wild after hearing the news. Some people raved about how much he looked like the author's description of the character, while others swooned at the thought of being able to see him in armor on their screens. As expected, doubts were also raised over whether he could act. But people were mostly desperate to know when they could see Eric and Emma perform together. The viewers now focused on finding out more information about the search and the number of people sitting down to watch their televisions fell sharply. In spite of this, Elena still had complete confidence in her own series. There's no way a short clip like that will have a major impact on the ratings she thought. Under normal circumstances, she would have been right. However, the viewing figures for the realm that came out the following day shocked the entire industry. After just two days, the viewership had dropped by about half. Eric's casting had rocked the acting world, especially as this was a major change of direction for him. Nobody knew if he could even act, but his step onto the small screen seemed to mirror his wife's transformation from model to actress. Eric's debut in this particular role was also surprising as fans of the novel knew how complex the character was. Wanting to capitalize on all of this interest, Eric decided to release a three-minute clip from the series at the same time that The Realm was being broadcast. Seeing how handsome he looked in the clip, fans once again went into a frenzy. And while Eric's looks may have drawn the public in, even the skeptics had to admit that both Emma and her husband looked like they were knocking their roles out of the park. In fact, Eric looked like he'd been acting for years. The three minutes of footage wet everyone's appetite and left them clamoring for more. Some of the more eager fans even started emailing Kaleidoscope and asking when the search would air. The release of the trailer also meant that a lot of viewers lost interest in the realm because it had only been airing for a couple of days people didn't really feel compelled to stick with it. In contrast, because it was an adaptation of a successful novel, the search already had a loyal fan base. Adding Eric to the cast only heightened the level of excitement. By the fourth day, the ratings for The Realm had dropped even further, and there was concern that the show's number of viewers could drop to record lows. The producers were in a state of panic. Meanwhile, Elena was so angry 
that she began smashing everything she could get her hands on. How is it even possible for the search to make this kind of comeback? She thought. Eric and Emma have ruined everything. To control the damage, the producers of the realm decided to host a few events. But they knew that trying to win back viewers would not be easy. As she watched Eric and Emma's followers increase on social media while her viewers decreased, Elena began to despair. Initially, she thought she would be able to take a break after her series finished its first round of promotions. However, the announcement that the search would be shown during the same time slot made that impossible. The channel that was showing the realm reached out to Eric to secure rights to the new series. But Eric had told them that he would not allow them to air his show unless they pulled Elena's series. Naturally, they couldn't just remove the realm from their schedule for no reason. So they gave up on the idea of airing the search. They had no idea that Eric and Kaleidoscope would then arrange to broadcast their series on a rival channel during the same time slot. After all, the competition between the two shows was already exciting enough without them going head to head. Although everyone expected the realm to suffer now that it had a direct competitor on another channel, nobody expected their ratings to fall as far as they had. In fact, the search had six times more viewers, meaning Elena's show was the perfect example of opening high and finishing low. Everyone knew that the series' downfall had been orchestrated by Eric. He was renowned for being a smart player within the industry. The first episode of The Search also resulted in rave reviews. Fans were eager to see how the relationship between Prince William and Lucia would develop. Audiences were fickle. Even though they appeared to be loyal, they'd pretty much forgotten about their previous devotion to Elena and the realm. Now, they were focused solely on the search and they had no intention of watching anything else. The whole saga was proof that anyone who provoked Kaleidoscope would be dealt with just like Eric had dealt with Elena. The bigger the star, the harder they fall. Episode 769 A Devoted Husband After watching the first two episodes, everyone wondered the same thing. How was Eric able to take on such a complex role when he'd never acted before? Somehow, he managed to excel at everything he did and the only reasonable explanation was that he was a genius all of the sudden new york was alight with talk about the search and its plot as people searched for resources about the period it was set in and began buying related merchandise on the other hand 
The Realm finished airing with barely a whisper of interest, even though an actress with global recognition was at the helm. It was rare to see a drama limp away into the sunset like this. Had Elena treated Eric and Emma with more respect, things could have ended so differently for her and her show. Even though the realm ultimately flopped, it didn't mean that Elena had no other options. Her image as a talented actress was still intact, and she could still make a comeback. But right now, she wasn't having any luck finding a role that would help her career. All the best roles have been taken by other big names. After everything that's happened recently, producers aren't even willing to see you right now, her assistant told her. Are you expecting me to set my sights lower? Elena spat. I'm an internationally renowned actress, for God's sake. There's one job that you might want to consider, the other woman said. The assistant nervously handed Elena the relevant information and stared at her boss. How can she still be so arrogant when her show was such a failure, she wondered. As soon as Elena realized what the job was, she threw the details on the floor. Are you seriously asking me to sign up for a reality show? Like some kind of rookie? Elena asked. I'm sorry, the assistant replied. I'll throw the contract in the trash right away. However... As Elena watched her assistant pick up the papers from the floor, a thought occurred to her. Wait a minute. It might be worth a look after all, she said. If there's one thing I know how to do, it's sell myself to the public. This might be just the thing to get me back on my feet. The assistant handed her the information once again, and Elena ultimately agreed to appear on a reality show called Sunrise to Sunset. Most of the reality show formats were brought over from the UK these days. But in spite of the lack of original ideas... They were a quick and easy way to gain popularity. The public will fall in love with me all over again, Elena thought. Much to Elena's surprise, Austin also ended up joining the show. In fact, they would be appearing on the same episode. Didn't he once tell me that he would rather set himself on fire than go on a reality show? Elena wondered. We can come up with a reason for you to back out, her assistant said. Elena glared at her. With her career at an all-time low, there was no way that she was going to back out and run the risk of never being invited back. I'm doing it, she said. Austin's reason for accepting the opportunity still puzzled Elena, and she wanted to know what his motivation was. Before the program began filming, Elena went to look for him and eventually cornered him outside of his dressing room. Did you decide to do this show because of me? She asked. Austin stood in the doorway, 
not wanting to invite his ex-girlfriend inside. You think way too much of yourself, he replied. I'm B-list at best. I do shows like this all the time. On the other hand, you're slumming it by being here. The differences between you and Emma are getting more obvious every day. For a moment or two, Elena didn't know how to respond as every word had hit her where it hurt. Why are you on Emma's side? She finally asked. I'm not on anyone's side. I'm just enjoying the show like everyone else. Austin responded. You must be enjoying seeing me suffer, Elena said. Can you blame me? Austin asked. Look, I think it's best if we only see each other on the show. I don't want the paparazzi taking a photo of us together. It would cause too much trouble now that we're on rival series. Elena was clearly holding back tears when she turned and left. But Austin still didn't feel sorry for her. He knew her far too well. Any sincerity that she displayed would be fake, and she was an expert at lying to herself. Austin watched her walk down the corridor. Elena had been right to suspect that he was doing the show because of her. Even before the search had aired, he had promised himself that he would show the world who she really was. And now was the perfect time to deliver on that promise. Let the games begin, Austin thought. I just heard that Elena is taking part in a reality show, Emma said to Eric as she fed Evan. Things can't be that bad for her, can they? She's survived in this industry because of her petty tricks. She's really not that smart. Either way, she's about to hit a few more bumps in the road, Eric replied. He didn't elaborate, but Emma could tell that her husband was up to something. Whether he was helping Austin get his revenge, or finding a way to reveal Kurt's affair with Caroline, Elena was about to have the shock of her life. The couple fell into a comfortable silence as they took care of the twins. As she looked at her two sons, Emma tickled Ethan, but was careful not to startle Evan. He was still very sensitive to noises and movements. Now that the babies were seven months old, they were beginning to mumble random sounds, and Ethan was particularly talkative when he was happy. You should probably take a shower, she said to Eric. I can finish getting the boys ready for bed. Eric placed a gentle kiss on Evan's head and then put him back in his crib. The next day, Eric went to work as usual. He was surrounded by reporters as soon as he stepped out of his car. Looks like it's time to change the security team in the parking lot, he thought. Are you planning on pursuing a career in acting? One journalist asked. Do you have any other projects in the pipeline? Asked another. You guys should know by now that 
I like to have an air of mystery, Eric joked. The only thing that I'm willing to tell you is that I love my wife and I love being a father. As a result, a new rumor started to circulate that Eric had only taken the role in the search to make Emma happy. After all, he was a devoted husband. Episode 770 Putting on an act Taking on a role in the search had been easy for Eric. He seemed to be a natural and had taken to acting like a duck to water. Eric and Emma were working hard to keep low profiles, but... It was particularly difficult now that they were both acting. As the drama was produced by their own agency, Eric decided to schedule only a few promotional events. The show's ratings were already high, and Emma had already fulfilled her obligations as one of the show's stars. Together, they had decided that she would work when she was offered worthwhile projects and then keep a low profile when she was resting. The message to the industry was clear. Emma would only accept the highest quality scripts. If nothing met her standards... She would be happy to be home with her sons. Rather than working against her, her approach solidified her reputation for high-quality productions. Meanwhile, Elena was still thinking about how she was going to make her comeback. Sunrise to Sunset was a reality show where five celebrities on a desert island had to perform various tasks to survive. They had a code they could use to call for help, but they would have only 24 hours to figure it out. As long as the contestants successfully completed all the tasks... They would receive a speedboat to escape, and their mission would be a success. If they failed, they would have to undergo a challenge. The show always had good ratings. The viewers were treated to the unique scenery of the island backdrop, and they got to see their favorite stars in a new way. Apart from Elena and Austin, a veteran singer and a couple who worked together on a travel show were participating in the episode. The couple had already traveled to many different countries and had expert survival skills. As the show began, the five of them were left on a remote island with their luggage. As the young couple, Todd and Heather, were used to traveling light, they didn't struggle with their bags. Austin felt compelled to help the older singer, which left Elena to fend for herself. Her ex-boyfriend was the only one who knew how much of a fraud she was, and he was well aware that she would put on an act. Not long after they arrived on the island, Elena offered to scope out the place while everybody else rested for a few minutes. Austin wasn't surprised when a scream arose from the forest a few moments later. 
Everyone looked in the direction of the noise and saw Elena sitting on the ground as she held on to her ankle. I don't want to drag you guys down, she told them. You can leave me here. Go on without me. Austin rolled his eyes, but the singer turned to him and said, You should carry her. Austin shook his head. It's my job to take care of you, he told the singer. If something happens to you, it'll be much harder for all of us to get around. He's right, said Todd. I could carry you instead. Austin thought for a moment. Before it gets dark, we should have a look around the island. Elena can rest here for now, and the rest of us can check out what we're dealing with. That way, we won't be wasting any time and energy hauling someone who's injured around with us, he said. Sounds good to me, Heather said. Austin then turned to Elena. If we leave you here to rest, you're not going to be scared, are you? He asked. Austin already knew what Elena would do, so he wasn't surprised when she simply nodded her head and put on a brave face. I'll wait here for you. It's my fault for being such a klutz anyway, she said. Great, Austin responded as he rubbed his hands together. Let's get moving then. As the group of four left their makeshift camp behind, Elena quietly seethed, but there was nothing she could do. A minute or two after they set off, Heather approached Austin. There's some bad blood between you and Elena, isn't there? The look on his face told her she was right, so she went on. It's already pretty clear that she doesn't have a genuine bone in her body. I bet she didn't want to walk, and that's why she deliberately hurt her foot. Why did someone so famous agree to do this show anyway? Amused that someone had seen through Elena so quickly, Austin started to laugh. I guess it's true then. I hate people who are fake, Heather said. What would you think about helping me show everyone who she really is? Austin asked. Heather grinned. The show gave the contestants the opportunity to eliminate anyone who was a burden after 12 hours. Up until now, no team had ever given up on one of their teammates. On previous episodes, each group had chosen to face the tasks as a whole. This time, however, was going to be different. Initially, Elena's anger stopped her from getting scared. But as the forest started to darken, she finally felt her palms get sweaty. I can't believe that they just left me here, she thought. They better come back soon. Austin and the others hadn't gone too far, though. So they finally returned and led Elena to the new camp they had set up. They then started examining the clues they had found while Elena had been on her own. Although she could clearly hear what everyone was saying, none of it made any sense to Elena. 
and she was feeling like an outsider. I'm so useless, she stated. All I've done is cause trouble. It's fine, Heather replied with a smile. You just don't have any experience with this kind of thing. What do you think I should do about my foot? I'm not going to be able to search for any clues like this, Elena said. You can rest it again tomorrow. We can find the clues, the young woman responded. Elena breathed a sigh of relief. I didn't have much time on screen today, but tomorrow will be different, she thought. During the night, Elena put her plan into action. When she thought everyone else was asleep, she pretended to hobble around the camp as if she was determined to make herself useful. Meanwhile, Heather eyed her pathetic attempts to gain sympathy. Elena's unbelievable, she whispered to her husband. She deserves an acting award for this alone. A few feet away, the singer frowned when she heard Elena cheering her own progress. If she doesn't want to sleep, that's her problem. But she's got no right to keep us all awake, the older woman said. What were the producers thinking when they invited her to take part? Episode 771 The Elimination Elena thought someone would come and comfort her, but the other contestants all did the same thing. They ignored her. None of them had any intention of giving her the attention she was craving. Consequently, her big act was wasted. Still determined to win them over, she woke up early the next morning to prepare everyone breakfast. It didn't even occur to her that using the group's precious supplies to make such a lavish meal would be a bad idea. When Austin realized what Elena had done, he simply shook his head and kept quiet. Meanwhile, the singer, Monique, went for a walk, and Heather and Todd took a quick dip in the sea. As soon as the three other celebrities saw the breakfast that Elena had prepared, their jaws dropped. I'm glad you're all awake now. I've made us breakfast, Elena said as she beamed at everyone. Afterwards, we can look for clues. She was waiting for everyone to express their gratitude, but the other contestants simply shifted around awkwardly. Eventually, Heather sat down beside her and looked at all the food. It was a nice thought, but what are we going to do about lunch? She asked. You've used up all our supplies for the day. Elena frowned and turned to one of the cameramen. Doesn't someone come in and restock when we've run out of ingredients? She asked. Didn't you read the rules before you came on the show? It wouldn't be much of a survival show if we replaced everything every time you use them. The cameraman replied. Elena turned back to the meal she had prepared and gulped. 
I saw how tired everyone was last night, and I just wanted to treat you, she said. I even woke up extra early to get everything done in time. It's clear that you made an effort, but we really need to get moving. Seeing as you're injured, you can stay here, and then we'll come back to find you, Monique responded. My foot's fine, Elena said, getting to her feet and demonstrating that she could now walk. There's no way I'm letting them leave me behind again, she thought. In that case, let's all have a quick bite and then we can all go and find more clues, said Todd. In the end, Elena got what she wanted and was allowed to continue with the team. But no one was willing to carry her things, which meant that she would have to work a lot harder than she had expected. Without the food and the tents on their backs anymore, the weight that everyone had to carry was manageable. But Elena still tired easily and had to take a rest every few minutes. Everyone else went in search of the clues, but she wandered around aimlessly. She had to admit that the team could have managed without her. We finally found one number, but there are still three more to go, Austin told the group. If we don't find them before nightfall, we'll fail the task. I'm starving, and there's nothing left to eat, Heather said as she looked at Elena. I didn't do it on purpose, Elena replied. It's fine, Todd said as he tried to defuse the situation. These kinds of problems are what surviving in the wild is all about. We just need to keep moving. How are we going to climb up the mountain with Elena's injury? Heather asked. None of the other contestants wanted to take her on the climb with them. She was going to be more of a hindrance than even Monique who was at least good at problem-solving and keeping everyone else's spirits up. I can do it, Elena said. I'm not gonna hold you guys back. I'll believe that when I see it, Heather thought. Austin had been helping Monique from the beginning, and he was determined to keep doing so. It was a bonus that he enjoyed her company. Come on then, Heather said to Elena, her temper starting to fray. The terrain up the mountain was difficult to navigate, and Elena was slowing down everyone's progress. In the end, the two travel experts decided to go ahead of the rest of the group. I can stay here and look after your things, Elena said. Heather rolled her eyes. If she doesn't stop with the act soon, there's a good chance I'll throw up, she thought. Just then... The show's helicopter landed just a few hundred yards away from them, signaling that it was finally time to decide if they were going to eliminate a member of the group. Heather breathed a sigh of relief. The crew members handed each of the contestants a pen and a piece of paper and explained that this was their opportunity to get rid of one of their teammates, if they wanted to. Elena looked at everyone else and smiled, not bothering to write anyone's name down. 
I know how this works, she thought. Nobody's ever voted out. The crew soon gathered up everyone's papers and announced that it was time to reveal the results. Any one of you could be leaving this island today, the host told them. There's no need to be so dramatic when we all know how this is going to end, Elena thought. One of the crew members picked one of the ballots at random and handed it to the Sunrise to Sunset presenter. One vote to eliminate Elena, he said. Elena was a little stunned, but she quickly plastered a smile across her face. It's okay, she said. Another piece of paper was picked, and the presenter read the result. Two votes to eliminate Elena, he announced. I had no idea you disliked me this much, she said to the group, her smile wavering. No one met her eyes. A crew member handed another ballot to the presenter, and his eyebrows shot up as he read the name. That's three votes to eliminate Elena. So there's no need to reveal the last vote. He paused for a moment and glanced at each of the other contestants. Are you sure you want her to leave the island? Everyone looked at each other and nodded, and Elena was officially eliminated. The show had been on the air for many years, and no group of participants had ever voted to remove one of their teammates. Elena never expected that she would be the first one to be voted out. The realization hit her like a freight train. I know I didn't always get things right, but was I really that bad? She asked. The rest of the participants looked away from her before Todd finally decided to respond. You might thrive on the red carpet, but it's clear you're not cut out for this. This is meant to be a reality show, but you always seem to be playing to the cameras right from the start. Before Elena had a chance to reply, the host told her to board the helicopter. Meanwhile, back home, everybody who had been watching the program wondered why she had insisted on being so phony 